So trick number three would be to have a light op- Bruh. What's going on guys? So this is gonna be a quick video and I'm gonna show you guys an Instagram hack if you guys don't know how to do this yet. So this morning I just posted a picture on my Instagram account and I shared it to my IG story and someone reached out asking how I did this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to share your Instagram post directly to your IG story and then a couple different tricks and tips on how you could customize it. All right, so first you're gonna wanna go on your IG feed and look at the post um, you'd like to share on your story. And this is the one I'm gonna share. For me, I like to share my most recent post because that's the most current and I like to try to get the most engagement out of it when I post it right away. I try to get all that engagement within half an hour just to try to stay on top of the Instagram algorithm. Next, you're gonna click on the share button or the airplane logo. So now, if you look right here, you'll now have the option to add post to your story. Now looking at your picture, in your IG story, you're gonna have three options. The first one is the one that pops up for you and it shows your username at the bottom. So if you click it, that's gonna be the second option and it's gonna show your first line in your description of your post and it's a different look. And then third, you could resize it to fill up the screen or shrink it or to whatever size you want. You could also rotate it as well. And now you're pretty much done. You could click the your story on the bottom left to share to your story. All right, so you guys probably already know how to do that. And if you guys didn't, hopefully I got to share that cool trick with you and teach you that before anybody else did. But now I'm gonna show you guys a couple different tricks that IG story has that you guys probably don't know because I didn't know this either. And these are a few easy tricks to help make your post stand out from everybody else who's already posting on IG story. And it'll also help you get more engagement and more views. But before we get into that, if you guys liked at my post that I was posting on my story when we were going through it, and you guys like the colors of it and like the whole look of it, I'm actually dropping a free preset on my website right now. So if you guys want that free preset, just click that link in the description and you'll go over to my website and it'll be zero dollars. And just add it to cart and you guys could use it for your next post. All right, so moving on to the fun stuff right now. So trick number one is to make a solid background color. So if you click on the brush at the top, and then click on a color icon on the bottom. Now hold onto your screen and it'll make a solid background color. You can choose from any of the colors below. So trick number two is to pick any color. So now, instead of clicking on one of the icons below, click and hold it. And now you're gonna have a bunch of different colors to choose from. And this will help make your color stand out from what everybody else is using. So let's say you wanted to use a custom color. If you go to the color picker tool, which is on the far left after you go to the brush area, click on that, click on your shirt or whatever you want to match, and then you're done. So now I have a color to the similar color of my shirt just so the branding stays cohesive. So trick number three would be to have a light up. Bruh. Want to teach trick number three? All right, so moving on to trick number three, that would be to have an opacity, kind of like a light opacity layer over your photo. So if you click on the second brush tool at the top and hold on to one of the pictures that you pulled up from your um, camera roll, it'll make a nice um, opacity layer over your photo. So what's cool about this is if you go over to the fourth icon on the very top, you could write text to kind of reveal the photo below. You can minimize the brush or make it bigger. I like to make it relatively small. And then you could say like, hi. Now tip number four would be to have a call to action to one of your photos that you posted from your IG post to your IG story. So there's two different ways you could go about this and trick number one would be to zoom all the way in and have a call to action button. So you would go to the sticker icon at the very top, go to the GIF, and now you would type in a call to action button you would like to use and one I used this morning was tap here. And now you have a bunch of different selections to choose from, and I scrolled down until I found one I liked. The one I liked was this yellow circle icon right here, and I placed it right in the middle where I liked it. 
So once you do that and you post it to your story and they click that tap here button, it says see post on the top. And once they click that, it goes directly to your IG post. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my pillows were uneven and that kind of bothered me after looking at the frame. Now we're gonna move on to tip number five, six, and seven. And that's gonna help you guys optimize your IG story to get more engagement and more views. Trick number five would be to add a tag location. So you guys probably do this sometimes when you go to a popular place and you add a location, but most of the times when you post a picture, you probably don't think of it. For me, I'm the same way, but now recently I've been trying to stay on top of it and add a location every single post. Now I have a chance to reach more people within my location. So going back to our example of posting our IG post to our IG story, now you would add a tag to it. Let's say Peoria, Arizona. So now my post is most likely gonna reach more people around my area. So trick number six would be something similar to the location, but would be to add a hashtag. And the hashtags you want to post has to be relevant to your story, but also pretty niched and something not overused like entrepreneur. And you guys could do your hashtag research to find something um, that's not too overused and still related to your niche. I'm gonna type in AZ videographer and now I have that hashtag. So now diving deeper into how you can add more hashtags to your IG story, you would add that through the text. And my advice would be to add around like five to 10 different hashtags and test that out. You could try adding up to like 20 if you want, but I usually do just five to 10 different niched hashtags and that's that. But now you have all those tags and hashtags showing right there. How do you hide that? So going back to our other trick, if you hold and drag onto your post and drag it to fill up the screen, it now covers everything behind it. When you do that, you don't have to worry about minimizing the hashtags or locations till it disappears or dragging it off of the screen. But for example, if you didn't go full size and your, um, your post was relatively smaller, to make the hashtag and locations disappear, you would either minimize it like this, just pinch it all the way down till it disappears, or you would minimize it a little bit, then drag it to the side of the screen till it disappears. All right guys, so that's a wrap for this video. Hopefully it was pretty straightforward to show you guys a couple different tricks and hacks that you guys didn't know before on how to not only step up the branding of your IG story, but also to optimize it for higher engagement and more views. But real quick, I wanted to remind you guys, if you guys really love the colors in that photo I just posted, and you guys didn't have time to click that link in the description because you guys were watching this video, go ahead and do that so you guys can get this free preset. Also DM me if you guys ended up using it and show me a before and after so I could check it out. Like always, if you found any of these tips helpful or found any value through this video, please hit that subscribe and like button so you guys could keep following me on my journey when I'm pumping out all these valuable content. It definitely helps me a lot when you guys click that like button or share this video. Like most of you guys know, it's hard to grow a YouTube account when you're starting out, so any support definitely helps and I greatly appreciate it. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow at Gordon Lee. I would love to connect with you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video, fam.